Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome to Mask of Deception with me, your girl, No Fuses. Now, I have played this game before, but it was a long, long time ago. I think when it first got released. But I think this is just another game that I would love to play over and just experience it all over again and experience it with you guys. So, let's get to it. Oh, dang. Yes, new game. Eh, hard normal, hard normal, hard normal. Eh, and this is normal. Okay, he has a voice. All right, cool. He's speaking in, in what, Japanese? Hold on. Can, can he speak English in here? If not, uh, I guess I'll just turn the voice off then. And I'll do my own voices. Hold on. Nope, it does not seem that they have English voices. So I'm just gonna turn them off and give them my own. You guys can enjoy my awesome voice acting. It's warm. Who calls to me? Okay, who is that? Okay, we're just having flashbacks, okay. Wait, I'm still initiating a wickeding process. Systems, yellow, we're starting in five seconds. System, error, problem detected in an awakening process. Subject severely affected. Abort command cancelled. Process unable to be terminated. Commencing countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Have a pleasant awakening. After you just try to terminate me? I'm, I'm just gonna assume that's what it was. Uh, where are we? Where, where am I? That's what I wanna know, guy. Above me, some kind of cloth ceiling? It's called a tent. Barely any light, or is it just dark out? Noise sounds like fire. Ugh, everything's distorted. Why am I? Are you awake? Yeah. Okay. What? How are you feeling? I didn't see any injuries, but do you feel any pain anywhere? I suppose you might still be delirious. Who are you? Oh. That's... Well, how do I put it? I think that might be a bit too hard to explain right now. No, it's not. Just tell me your name! <laughs> That's all he wants to know! Anyway, do you remember anything about what happened to you? Me? Oh my god, do we have amnesia? Oh, just try to relax. I can tell you everything you want to know later. 
Ah, uh, I get it. This is all just a dream. <laughs> a dream where he just wakes up in a tent with, with a beautiful cook girl just looking at him like that. This is just a dream. I'm dreaming. This isn't real. Just relax for now. And rest. Yeah. Passes out. Good night. So we're having flashbacks. Okay. Okay. Oh dear, your room is a mess again. Hey, hey, uncle, I'm here to visit. <laughs> you better be really happy, because today I'm going to kick you your favorite. Then you still aren't married even when you're really old. I can marry you, okay? Wow, okay. I really do worry. You don't have to stay here. You can always... You know you can come back anytime. Tell me to leave? You seem so distant these days. But then, it felt like you were always trailing around after the two of us. You took the medicine then. There'll be a whole new world awaiting for you when you wake up. Hmm. I'm sorry, but when <laughs> whole new world, my first thought was <laughs> the Aladdin song. <laughs> a whole new world. Yes, you were the first and the last. Of what? I'm not gonna make it for you anymore. Right? <laughs> okay. You better come pinky square across your heart and hope to die. It's a promise. Yeah. That's right. The promise. Have to go. She's waiting. waiting for uh, uh, Achoo! Oh dang! We're in number a little itty bitty thin robe! Oh, I know you're embracing the suck right now, guy. Oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure it's a guy. Even though he's got a girly haircut. Uh, so cold. Huh? I blink at the unfamiliar sight. Yep, definitely a guy. Where am I? I glance around. Trees, trees, and more trees. It's a forest and a pretty dense one at that. It feels like the endless trees are swallowing everything else up, even sound. Where exactly am I? How did I end up in a place like this? I don't know. How did you? I'd like to know too. Why? Why? I'm frantically searching my memories. It's no use. I can't remember. What was I doing up to now? So he does have amnesia. Great! Awesome. Did you stab yourself? A sudden pain in foot interrupts my thoughts. I look down and realize I'm barefoot. You just now noticed? You've been walking through a snowy trail for who knows how long. Why? Achoo! Gah! It's freezing. Why am I? No, hold on. Why am I dressed like this? Uh, I don't know. You look like a patient. I mean, that's what patients wear. Out in this cold, in just a flimsy gown. 
Not even any underpants. Well, th thanks for that info. <laughs> Ugh. Chili doesn't even begin to describe it. I look around desperate for some way to get out of this cold. Not a single house or signpost anywhere. <gasps> So what you're saying is you're fucked. Getting a heart attack too? My head is splitting too. Probably related to my to the empty stomach. Alright. This is all just a dream. It's a very realistic dream. I mean even if it was a dream, why would you dream about walking through a chilly snow covered forest by yourself? Barefoot in a measly little gown. Like, come on now, guy. Damn it, it's no use. I can't fool myself here. Somehow, I pull myself together and b get back to my feet. No matter how I look at it, this is no dream. Achoo! Bachoo! Ugh. Stuck up in this cold with nothing but a robe and totally naked underneath. Why are you keep letting us know about that? We, we don't need to know, okay? And I, I highly doubt underwear would help you get any warmer than you already aren't. I'm still holding up, but once the sun goes down, I'll catch cold for sure. Worst case scenario, I freeze to death. If this isn't a dream, then that tent where I was resting has to be out here somewhere. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. At first I thought this was like, you know, like five hours later and then he stumbled onto the tent, but he woke up in a tent with a beautiful girl and then was like, nah, I'm not sticking around. Got up and walked out into the freezing cold and now it's like, man, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should probably find my way back. Oh snap, I don't know where I am now. I is that what happened? <sighs> Travel the fittest. That's what this is. <laughs> All things considered, that's probably my best shot here. I want to go back the way I came, but I've got no idea which way that even is. What do I do? Should I just follow some road and hope for the best? I wait here for help. If you get lost, rule one is to stay still and wait for help. But the thing is, I don't even know if anyone's coming for me. Exactly. <laughs> I can't really expect a search trail when I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here myself. I guess I'll have to risk it if I want to get out of here. I should get moving before it gets any darker. Wow, why do you stand up like that? <laughs> I fear a shiver down my spell, but this time it's not the cold. What? Something felt weird. Whoa, whoa what the? Oh, just a bird. Phew. Jeez, almost gave me a heart attack. Nothing serious. What a relief. Overheard the birds are still screeching. They seem pretty worked up about something. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably like, move! <laughs> Get out the way, danger! These birds just won't shut up. What's got them so freaked out? There it is again. It feels like something's watching me. This is when you start sprinting. Uh, I feel sick. Or play dead. <laughs> my vision blurs and I lose my balance. I trip to my own feet and stumble forward. And in that instant. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Slash. I hear just above my head a jarring violent sound like metal on metal. Whoa! Falling to one knee, I lift it around Kashi to look back. Oh, jeez. It's a giant mutated scorpion.
and by the sound of things, he probably just missed getting beheaded. Just by an inch. What is this? In a row of sharp jags and points, the cone planes gleamed in the cold air. They're like scissors, or maybe a saw. But saws and scissors can't compare to that. It's bigger than a human arm. What the? What is that? I was like, bigger than a human arm? How about bigger than a person? <sighs> Whatever it is, it's definitely insectoid. But this thing doesn't look like any bug I've ever seen. It's at least ten times, no, a hundred times bigger. What is going on? Revulsion wells up inside me, and my skin crawls. I just want to look away from this thing. What do I do? What should I do? Run for your fucking life. Uh, uh, uh! <laughs> Without looking away, I jumped off the cliff side in front of me. Dang! I feel that unnatural sharpness cut through the air just behind me as I leaped. I'm flying? No, you're falling. For a moment, I'm soaring through the air. I feel my hits hit the slope and tumble down the snowy cliffside. Gah! My back hits the ground hard. The impact knocks the wind out of me, and I choke. Ugh. Gah. Ugh. My body is screaming in agony, but I don't have time. I stare to my feet and start running. Yeah, good. Just keep, just keep running. Like, don't even look back. What was that? What was that? What was that? What the hell was that? An instant that massive doesn't exist. There's no way it could exist. So this has to be a dream. That was all just some illusion. I just have to turn and look, and I'll see everyone smiling, waiting for me. Yeah, he, he's in denial stage. And I look back. Oh, dang. Ah! It, it's gonna, it's gonna eat me! I started seeing right and left, Sipertine, se trying to keep it guessing. <laughs> How far do I have to run? Man, you sound like he's sprinting. I can't keep this up. I keep running straight ahead, but what? Something gives way under my heel. Ah! Uh, did I fall again? Everything hurts. I shade. You shade. I shade my eyes with my hand. I don't know if that sounds right, but okay, whatever. I shade my eyes with my hand, peering up at the light shining from above. Looks like a hole. If that's where I fell from, must have been a bush or something high. How are you not dead? That is quite a bit of a fall. And then you, you jumped off a cliff, somehow survived. You jump into a massive hole that looks pretty deep when you're considering this picture and you somehow survive. You got a sturdy body, my guy. <laughs> It'll be tough, but if I climb the wall here, maybe I can get back above ground. But even if I could get, get back up, that thing's just gonna eat me, so. Strange enough, the walls are giving off a faint glow. It's dim, but it's helped me see the place. It looks like some kind of cavern. There's a tunnel that seems like it goes on for a while. Well, if I can't go up, I might as well go forward. Still, even with this dim glow, I can't really tell what it's like further inside. Maybe it'd be safe to just wait here quietly and after all. Ah, uh, that noise. It's getting closer. If I hang right here, it'll only help me down. I can't stop now. With my decision made, I step forward into the tunnel. Ugh, why is this happening to me? No. I don't feel it. 
chasing after me. I finally let myself sit. Exhaustion would be settling in. I'm safe now. This should be far enough. Apparently not. I cringe instinctively. A sudden chill, unpleasant familiar runs down my spine. Whoa! My body freezes. I can't move, confronted with something beyond understanding. Dang. Whoa, whoa, why? Why is it here? Uh, obviously it follows you down into the hole. The cautious inset is right in front of me. Did this thing set me up? But the Pacifics don't really matter anymore. Ugh! It happens in an instant. My back to the wall. My escape is blocked by Sinia's body. I can't escape. It creeps forward warily, as if it's learned its lesson from its field attempts earlier. Yeah, it's pretty smart! It leans in, clues close enough to pull me in with a single slap of shells, and stops. Something like so is dripping from his jaws. Is this where I die? Like this? In this sense of situation? Eaten by whatever the hell this thing is? The insect's jaws finally click open, gapping to devour me. I'm dead. Uh. The insect suddenly darts aside without biting me, like it's trying to escape something. And something descends from far above, translucent and massive, as if to crush whatever's below. Dang. Okay, we got blob monsters. It engulfs the massive insect effortless effortlessly. What the? What is that? What's going on now? I can see the insect withering and thrashing, trapped inside its sleek tinless body. The insect was already beyond comprehension, but this thing defies all of reason and it's melting. This enormous insect shell, hard as metal, is bubbling like it's being dissolved. It's coming apart inside the slime. Is it eating the... The insect sh struggles nervously inside this enormous creature, but its body is almost completely digested. All I can do is stare blankly, still in shock. And that's when you walk away slowly. The insect's face surfaces for an instant, but it has no power left. The Vincent Red swallows it up. Am I safe? I whisper in sheer gratitude for still being alive. I survive! I can't keep myself from letting out a cheer of relief until I realize. The enormous creature swells and heaves a short distance away. If it's somehow still hungry after that huge insect, there's no reason it won't go for me next. I need to get out of here before. Uh, the African creature begins oozing forward towards me. And that's when we start sprinting again. It stops, just waiting, like it's curious to see what I'll do next. <laughs> Can it hear me? Is it going off vibrations in the ground? And it sudden moves and I'm dead. I mean, I clearly see eyes. I mean, I'm pretty sure it can see. No motion. I keep her still holding my breath. Its recent surface begins rippling, and little by little, it forms into a familiar shape. What? My voice dies in my throat. The face that appears before me is misshapen, gluttonous, horrifying, but an unmistakably human. <laughs> I don't know, is it, is it about to start speaking? Unfocused eyes fixate on me. Its mouth gasps, gasp and gasps soundlessly like a fish drowning in water. I mean, in air. What? 
are you? So it's, try it's definitely trying to speak. Is it trying to talk? It just sounds like air escaping. I can't make out what it's saying. <sighs> My freak says, or curiosity, I'm closer to hear what it's saying. And a nerve voice rings out. Cover your eyes and ears! The short command is followed by a singular object bouncing on the stone between us. Looks like a grenade? Gah! I instinctively shut my eyes and clap my hands over my ears. It's too bright to make anything out, but I feel the ground shake as if the creature's withering. Is this a sun grass? Huh? Someone grabs my hand with an incredible force, and when I try to pull away, I get yelled at. You can freeze up later! My body's floating in the air. It feels like I'm flying. Man, this person is running so fast that this that my guy is flying. I nearly open my eyes and see someone bounding forward, my hand in theirs. It's so fast. It's like we're the wind. We cut through the air and the wind rolls past my ears. My rescuer guns back to me as if checking on me. A woman? No, more like a young lady. Her face is beautiful, though oddly childish. Oversized ears and a fluffy tail. There's something natural about her. I can't look away. Even in this incredible situation, it feels like time stopped. Then suddenly, her brow furrows. I glance back, unsure of what she's looking at. Oh, it's pissed! That murderous creature searches for, closing in on us like some kind of predator wave. In this linear cavern, there's nowhere else to run. It's gonna catch up! The girl's already seen it. She whips in her cylinder from her waist and throws it behind us. The blinding flash and the explosion fall almost instantly. Yeah! Gah! Now's our chance! Outside, I'm finally safe. My legs give out. I collapse onto the snowy ground. I can barely even believe I was able to run as much as I did. I guess humans really can do anything when their lives are on the line. The girl's exhausted too. Can't blame her. And she takes a seat, catching her breath. She saved my life. I should at least thank her properly. So thank you so much for saving me. Did she even hear me? My throat is raspy and raw. I can't speak with that well. It's the cute girl. She's looking at us like, why are you looking at me like that? She knows it and turns towards me. She has a strange look on her face, like he's seen something she wasn't expecting to. Ah, seeing her face again like this, this really is something beautiful about her. That slightly confused expression too. Wow, she's cute. Is there something wrong with my face? Oh no, not really. Still though, I take my eyes off you for, for just a moment and you disappear, but I never imagined something like this. I'm glad I made it in time, but in the future, I think I prefer you don't cause me so much trouble. Uh, I'm sorry. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I have ran out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first episode of Mask of Deception. And if you would like to see more, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Bye! I'll see you guys next time!